Hi everyone, in last session we have seen about let, constant and var. Today I will be presenting function. Just created one JS file f100cs and I referred it and I just commented f.js so which is not required for this session. So here what is the function? So functions are a fundamental building blocks of JavaScript. The function definition is a function is nothing but a set of statements that perform some task. For example, if you, when you click on some button, you want some actions to be performed or saving the customer data, pulling the customer data from the database. So everything is called a function. A function syntax consists of function keyword followed by function name and parentheses. Then you'll have brackets. So all the statements that define the function will go between these brackets. So here statements. A function can have a zero parameters or more than one parameters. If you have more than one parameters, you have to separate them with commas like a comma b comma c like that. So I will start with basic function. Function greeting. I say console.log hello world. In order to execute the function, we should invoke it first. How do you call the function? So using the function name followed by the parenthesis. Greetings. Now you can see hello world. So this is parameterless function. So we will write a function with parameters. Function add a comma b. And here I want to store the result of a plus b in one variable. Like let's say c a plus b. And I will just print console.log a plus b. So here we need to call the function with the name followed by the parenthesis add and it expect two variables a comma b. So I just pass 12 comma 45 semicolon. Now if you print you can see 57. What if I don't pass any value? Just call add. You can see nan. Nan means not a number. Now I just print here what is a comma b if we don't pass anything. A. Now you can see undefined plus undefined equal to not a number. So it is trying to add them and it is found that both a comma b are undefined. So undefined plus undefined is equal to na nan which stands for not a number. This is very important that we should pass the values. Now let's say if I pass 10 comma number 2 what will be the 102 because here we pass 10 and string value 2. So because of that what it will do when you pass like this to number plus string it did the concatenation that's why we are seeing 102. Here we are not checking whether the values of a and b are string or number. We are directly doing this one that's why we see this result. Here I want to check if the a comma b both are numbers or not. If both are numbers then only I want to do the sum otherwise I want to return the message how to do that. For that I just write like this if type of a equal to equal to number we have used this type of in our data type session equal to me and type of b number then do return a plus b else return invalid Param. Now we are checking if the type of a equal to equal to number and type of b equal to equal to number then only return a plus b means it will only do the sum of a plus b and return the value otherwise return the method but we are not storing the result that is written by the add method anywhere so let's create a variable called c equal to 10 comma 2 and now here I just print this C. If you see it, now you can see invalid parameters are passed because we passed that one number and one string. Let's say pass both are numbers, then you can see the result 12. So, but if you pass anything like object or something, you can see invalid parameters are passed. So, this is empty object. So, this is how using the type of you can check value of the variable that helps when you want to do something conditionally. Now we have covered function and parameterized functions and that how to use the type of. Now I want to cover one more topic called function variables. What is the function variable? So let's say we are written the function here and we are just calling. So instead of that if you want to store the function in a variable how to do that? Let 
add equal to and paste this code here. Now if I save it, you will see the one error. So what is that error? Let's see. Syntax error, identifier add has already been I declared because we are having already add method here and we are trying to define one more time. So this identifier is already there. So we are trying to define one more time. When you are using the let keyword, it will give you the error. But if you use the var keyword, it won't throw any error and it will run as it is. That's why I recommend use let instead of var. You can avoid doing these kind of mistakes unknowingly. Now this is add. So I just make it like add basic. And now here add I written like this. Still you see one more error. So uncount reference error. Ref cannot be access add before installation because we are calling the add method before defining it. So that's why you are seeing this error. So we have to move this one. Now it will work. Okay. So this is called function variable. We are returning a function and we are storing into the variable and wherever if you want you just you can just call like this here if you observe we have written just function we don't have any name here just parenthesis we are having so this is called anonymous function a function without a name is called anonymous you will be asked in an interview what is the anonymous function so you can say that a function without a name is called anonymous function so we will stop here and we will continue function second part in next session thank you for watching if you have any doubts please comment in comment section thank you